So I'm at the beaches of Gorapari in Brazil, and uh, this is one of the most naturally radioactive places in the world. It contains a lot of uh, thorium as well as uranium in the ground here. You can see the beach sand here. It's a special type of sand called monocyte that contains this radioactive material. Uh, you can see when I get very close with the Gamma Scout. We have, once it adjusts, I already did this before, we have up to 60 microsieverts per hour in this spot. And I also wanted to do, use my uh, new Ludlum meter, but the thing is, with a scintillation probe like this, even on a times 100 scale, you can see it's pretty much maxed out. It's on 500,000 counts per minute. So I can't really use this meter here to show you uh, about the radiation levels that differ in this sand. So I actually have to take samples of the sand and do it back at the hotel so the meter is not maxed out by all the background radiation that is around here, which is so intense. Can I have the noise also one more yep. time? All right, so let's analyze these samples with the Ludlum. Battery check. And I'm setting it to the times 100 scale to begin with. You'll see why. So we'll move the scintillation probe, the scintillation crystal is right on the top here. Onto the black stuff. And you can see we have about 50,000 counts per minute. Versus on the brown stuff. You get about 150,000 counts per minute, or even slightly more. So, let's see. Let's see about that in detail. We have uh, isolated samples. This is the pure unrefined sand, as it is found on the beach. This is uh, mostly the brown stuff. Mostly the white sand. And mostly the black sand. So, let's put that into this mini borehole on the top, which means it will be surrounded by the scintillation crystal, by the gamma ray detector, basically. So, let's set that to the times 10 scale for this and check it out. Alright, so we have about 20,000 counts per minute from the background over here, but still, let's see, we get any more if we put in the white sand. No, that doesn't seem to do anything. And the black sand. Well, maybe just a little, yes. But that could be because of remaining brown sand. It's not completely pure. And the mixed sand as it is found on the beaches. Yes, it definitely does produce a reading. 45,000 counts per minute, approximately. And now the brown sand. That goes off the scale, so I have to set it to times 100 again. So we have about 70,000 counts per minute from that brown stuff, so it looks like this brown stuff is largely responsible for the radioactivity of the beaches. So we need to analyze the contents of the beach further. Let's find out about the secret of this mystically sparkling sand. Like these little interesting sand worms, for example. What are these worms? Well, I have an idea. We're gonna make these worms emit x-rays. And thus, we will be able to tell what these worms are made of.